Uh, Your Honor, colleagues of the diplomatic corps, dear war veterans, ladies and gentlemen, friends. To say that the 9th of May is a very special day in Russia would be a gross understatement. It's about life and humanity's true mission on Earth. For it's not as much about victory, which was granted by God to the people that were on the right side of history, as about its price and sacrifices that made it possible. As is said in the Bible, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Here we pay tribute to those who paid the ultimate price for the victory, that became greatest spiritual value of all the peoples of the former Soviet Union, that war touched every family in our country. In that war that started in the most unfavorable circumstances imaginable, we didn't seek to prove our ability to kill, but our capacity to stand our ground between death and humanity in, de in defense of European civilization against absolute evil that had been let out of the bottle by the division of Europe brought about by World War I. Winston Churchill, in his address to the British people on May the 8th, 1945, said that in all our long history we have never seen a greater day than this. It's not merely by chance that the Soviet and British peoples found themselves on the same side as they did in early 19th century in, in response to Napoleon's threat to freedom and independence of European nations. When we pay respects to those who died in the fight against fascism, we understand that there are fundamental values of humanity that bind us. Unlike ideological differences that come and go, they belong to eternity and living by them ultimately defines our place in history. For us in Russia, it was also a proof that we have been and still are an indispensable member of the European family. That is the lesson we have learned from that tragedy, which underpins our present policy aimed at restoring the unity and cohesion of Europe that we lost a century ago. Accomplishment of that objective would be appropriate and enduring tribute to our dead in both world wars. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency.